Bonjour everyone, Pentuf here today for a new video in which we are going to take a look at one tank that has some weird specificity that makes it awesome to play, something that you wish all tanks could have. Unfortunately for you, it's a collectible, it's the Panzerkampfwagen B2740, but luckily as well, it's only available for 4 euros, which is quite cheap considering that the first offer was at nearly 16 euros, which is way expensive maybe a little bit too much for a tier 4. So the question is, what is really special about the tank? Because when you take a look at it, it just seems like a lame tier 4 or maybe a tier 4 with better statistics, which is definitely the case of the tank. Simply because when we take first a look at the gun, you will find out that it has one of the greatest DPM for a tier 4 sitting at 1200. On top of that, the aim time is good, your reload time is extremely good as well, 3.6 seconds, and your average penetration will allow you to penetrate pretty much everything without necessarily struggling. On top of that, the armor profile overall of the tank is good, even if when people shoot with gold shell uh, starting at tier 4, you will get penetrated easily, which can be upsetting sometimes, specifically when you want to roll with the tank because it's what this thing is supposed to do. The only downside, in my opinion, would be the top speed that is only 30 km per hour, which means that out of all the tier 4 that usually are quite mobile because you're starting the game therefore you need not to get bored about a certain playstyle so wargaming is making improvements to those tanks in order for you not to get bored and therefore go fast on the battlefield with the panzer b2 it's not the case you are slow with the counterpart being that you have a good armor but the main advantage of the panzer b2 and what makes it a tank that everyone should get in their garage is the fact that this tank is equipped with something uh, we don't know yet what it is and maybe that wargaming will never tell us maybe some magic of the codes of the developers but you can't not be top tier what i mean is that every time you play with the panzer b2 you are going to be top tier you will never ever meet tier 5 and of course, when you are top tier all the time with something that has a great gun and a great armor, you are gonna have some fun. But be careful, there are still some tanks that, in my opinion, are better than this one, specifically the Panzer DW2 that you will encounter uh, a lot during uh, your games in tier 4 because it's known to be one of the greatest tanks in terms of penetration, which means that be careful when you encounter one and also the tank destroyers. But as long as you avoid those two types of tanks, you should not struggle at all. Take a look at this Panzer M3 Leaf, for example. We are going in, destroying the poor boy, thanks to our great DPM, and we're going to be able to advance. And this is what I like about the Panzer B2. This mix between uh, the crazy gun that allows you to switch targets, to kill opponents quite fast, and at the same time, your ability to brawl. Yes you do not have the greatest mobility but when you are launched knowing that you will always be top tier you will encounter a lot of people that don't know how to play i want to remind you we are talking about tier 4 people are just starting and usually when it's the case they are not using gold shell and if they are not using gold shell i can tell you that they will never ever penetrate the Panzer B2 and this is your greatest advantage beside the fact that they don't know how to play obviously so in definitive if i had to summarize the Panzer B2 i would tell you that it's a great tank to play against newbies but a terrible tank to play against experimented players that are just still clubbing because once you learn about the weak spots of the tank let's say that you will penetrate it like it's butter you just have to switch to gold shell and try to sneak your shell uh, pretty much everywhere on the weak spot by the way maybe that i should show you real quick where the weak spot is it's this little boxy thing here that out of all the tank at the front is the only part that is not angled and obviously when it's not angled it doesn't have that special artificially increased armor that we all love on our tier 10 
So let's take a look at this Kenny, for example. I'm pretty sure that this guy is a new player or uh, just a poor tier 3 that has uh, not enough luck to encounter me on the battlefield. He knows that he can't do anything. He tried two shots on me. He saw that it didn't work, so he went on an another target. And this is the kind of thing that will happen to you every time someone is trying on this poor B2. There is nothing that can penetrate you out of a tier 3 gun as long as they're not using gold shell or as long as they are not tank destroyers. And of course, it's just it's just fun. Beside the incredible good factor uh, this tank is combining, I also love the fact that it's one of the few tanks with which if you are getting bored about tier 10 because you're getting destroyed or because you have bad team play, etc., you just pick your Panzer B2, you go on the battlefield, and you're having fun. You're just having fun. You need... You can just take your brain out and play like like a demon, like a zombie, like whatever you want. Because with this tank, you are not necessarily going to get punished too hard for the mistakes you make. So just enjoy, sit back and relax. Spend 4 euros if you want, test it and tell me in the comments if you like this tank as much as I do. Because in my opinion, even if it's not the kind of tank that you're going to play regularly, when you want to really have fun, you just kind of sort it out and bang, that's it, you destroy everything. And for those of you that are still curious about being able to test the tank before buying it, luckily for you, it's one of the few premiums that is a literal copy past of an already existing tank from tier 4, the Panzer B1 from the French tech tree. B1, B2, B2 being a better version because it's a little bit more armored with a better gun, but... The B1 doesn't have something the B2 has, which is the preferential matchmaking, which means that with the B1, you can encounter tier 5. And trust me, this tank against tier 5 is really, really shitty. You do not want to face any tier 5 using the Panzer B1. Otherwise, you don't have enough penetration, plus they have enough penetration to get through you. So B Careful, uh, try it out. If you're lucky enough, you get into a tier 4 game. Uh, if you're even more lucky in a tier 3 one, you test it. And if you enjoy it, bang, get yourself the B2 because it's basically a B1 being top tier all the time. This is the end, boys. I hope you enjoyed. If that's the case, feel free to subscribe, like, and share. And tell me also what kind of tanks you would like to see next or uh, maybe tanks that are already available, maybe not available. You know what? Just tell me and I'll do my best to satisfy you. See ya.